If you're waiting for somebody to die and leave it on them for you, you have to wait five to ten years. Now, in the process, many people die. Everybody intuitively knows that if you can save somebody else's life, it's a good thing. So why aren't we saving more people's lives? We embrace transplantation when we need a transplant. We're willing to take and we're willing to receive. We've got to be willing to give. We are putting people on the waiting list at a rate that far exceeds how many people die or are transplanted. The very sobering statistic is about only a third of people will be alive on dialysis after five years. And the average waiting time for a kidney is five years or more. You realize a lot of people won't be alive at the time they make to the top of the list. If you are African American, you have a much higher incidence of kidney disease. And if you want organ donation from us, we don't care about all that paperwork and statistics. Tell me what the need is. So the, the disparity is not going away. It's getting way worse, far worse. This, the, the gap is, is growing between number of organs that are available and number of people waiting. Especially Hispanic has the fastest growth on the waiting list and has highest, one of the highest mortalities on the waiting list. If it were you, if it was your child, if it was your loved one, what would you do? The first thing you would do is Google kidney transplant and you would start looking and you would see where the shorter or the longer wait times are and that really wouldn't work out so hot and then you would look to see where could you buy one. But where's the national voice? Where's the national organization that really is embracing change and coming up to the Senate and the legislatures and the governments and the president and saying, you know, guys, we've got a serious crisis here. It's hard to be a doctor. It's hard to take care of people and watch them die when you know and they know that there's an option. This is a problem.